Welcome to my unboxing of the Shawcom SW33 Plus Power and SWR Meter. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the Shawcom SW33 Plus SWR and Power Meter. And uh, we've charged it up. We've uh, added our antenna from the ICOM 52. We've also added the uh, adapter here, you can see here. And we're just gonna do some tests. So you, there is a little charging, USB charging thing here. And we did that for about an hour. And you've got some selections here that you can make with the device. Just hold it and it comes on. Look, each time you press it, like that's VW, V S W R forward and reverse. Press it again and it just sort of turns it on its side, really. It's just for readability, but it's the same info. Push it again, turns it around the other way. Uh, press it again, and it's just SWR. And these are $36.99 delivered, and I think that's not bad for what you get. Forward, uh, VSWR. So let's get it on the actual radio. So all these adapters come with it. They even come with a, a dummy load. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it with um, the antenna, like so. It does go on there quite sturdy. It's not a heavy item, so it's not putting, I don't think it's putting too much stress, but maybe I'll, I'll just put something under there just in case. Better to be on the safe side, yeah? There you are, propped it up a bit, like so. So uh, power-wise, let's, um, let's go on to two meters, I think. So we'll just hold down DR, like so. Then we'll go to VFO. We're on 145, 400 power. So this is the power change. So let's hold it down. And we'll go to high. Let's start high. Let's get really gutsy on this. And then we're going to push it. And we're going to see what it says. So that's PTT with the antenna. Oh, it's gone to VSWR. So let, it does say one to one. But it should do with the stock antenna. So let's go so it shows everything. Well, let's do this one here, it's forward. So let's key it. Five watts and a bit more. And let's do it so it shows everything on the side. I think it's pretty good, you know? Let's just think, let's write, it's TX. You get all the info there, you get SWR, reflected and forward, so five watts. So let's go down to lower power. So let's hold down and you can actually rotate the actual knob to change the power, or you can just go up like this. Super low, which is like, I think it's like 0 0.1. Let's try it out. Is that even registering? Maybe we need to reset it. It's not even registering, is it? Let's turn it off. Off, then on. Let's try it again. I would say that super low doesn't even register. So that's okay, let's go up to low two, which is probably about one watt, I'll look it up later. Yeah, there it is there. 0.15, yeah, um, good SWR. Let's go up to the next one, low. One. One watt. And again, mid, three, nearly three watts. We've done five. Let's just put the dummy load on there. You do get different adapters. You get adapters with a BNC connector and SMA male and female. So let's just get the dummy load on there, which is really what we should have done in the first place, to be honest, but we're being naughty. Um, right, just give me a minute to screw that on, and everything's screwed on here. We'll still prop it up here so it doesn't put too much strain on the antenna. Right, let's turn this round, dummy load, four watts, I mean five watts. Let's turn it on and off again. There you go, just hold it down. I, I did, maybe I didn't charge it long enough, eh? <laughs> anyway, here it is here. If we turn it round, Q, 
key. Let's check the power. Let's go to high. Doesn't seem to show anything at the moment. Okay, so it's quite long, isn't it, when you put it all together. <laughs> so let's just key it, and then, yeah, you're getting the 5 watts. And let's push again, to get all the info. I think it's worth 30-odd pound. It's a very quick way of testing it. Shall we do test my, my VX4? Let's test that next. One second. So in the box, you get other adapters. You get a BNC one, male and female. And you get this one. So I would say this one will screw into here. With a bit of luck. And then let's get that on there. Try to get it in there. Right, let's get it on there. Right, it's on there. Got the adapter there. And we key it up like so. And we're on full power, and there it is. One, one dot, sorry, 1.01 SWR, five and a bit watts. Shall we try my um, Zygu on there? I, know, I think this is a five watt unit, so Zygu, if it's on the battery, is only five watts. Shall we try it? Right, in the end, we've opted for the 705. I've actually set my... 705 to TX on a button here. We've set it on 50%. There's no DC power supply. And then we'll do the TX. Right, so we've set it to, I don't think this is the 2 meter and 70 meter. It's not for HF. So we just hit the, the TX button that we've set on my radio here. And then we'll just go like so. And there you are. About 5 watts and it's on 50%. We're not going to go higher because it's, it's only a 5 watt meter. Got my granddaughter in the background. So seven three. Thanks for watching. All the best. M zero FXB. Quick unboxing of the Shawcom SWR and power meter. So let's just take the lid off. Uh, I do like this package for the price of thirty six ninety nine. It's like a die cast metal housing. I like that. It just makes me feel like it's going to be good quality. And there's lots of good reviews on this item. So it, you know we're not going to plug it in now, but it does charge up. So you don't need a battery. Um, you've got the um, looks like like a mini dummy load there with these SMA connectors. SMA to uh, BNC, female and male, and then another one here. Is that another dummy load? Let's have a look what that is. There you are, it looks like that. Okay. Like so. And then you've got a little, like a joiner one here, like, like a joiner one there, like joins two together. And here's your charging cable. So yeah, it looks good. We'll get it all set up, do some tests on it. Now it comes in a nice box. Now is that an instruction manual there I see at the back? Looks like it is. Let's just pull that out. Yeah, nice instruction manual. There you go. I'm sure you can get it online as well. So that's it. We'll get it working, charge it up. And what I like about it is that you can literally just fit this on there and it will plug straight onto your handheld and it will work straight away and I like that, it's very quick, quick and easy. 7.3, thanks for watching.